Let's have a session Cotter's resistance to change model. So, a manager will look to make a change. Resistance is inevitable. Some resistance is inevitable to any change. Dr. John Cotter himself said that if you check the video in the description box below. So managers make change, some resistance to change is inevitable. And there are four types or four categories of resistance that exist that we'll get to in a minute. But once we have this resistance, there are six different solutions, which are the methods or the solutions to overcoming resistance to change. For more details on that, click the card up there. Now, what are the four types of resistance that are likely to exist when managers make change? Well, the first is parochial self-interest, which basically means individuals who have a narrow outlook. They just look at themselves and not the business. So they only care, so when the change happens, they only care about the impact of the change on themselves, but not on the business. Number two is trust issues might exist, or there might be a misunderstanding in the communication. So trust issues is they do not believe the assessment that managers tell them. Employees do not believe what managers are telling them. Because of trust, it might be because of previous trust issues. A misunderstanding falls into the same category, which is the idea that there is a lack of communication or there is poor communication in how the change has been informed to the employees. The third is a different assessment. And the fact that the stakeholders do not necessarily agree with what the manager's assessment of the situation is and what they're recommending for change. You can definitely loop in stakeholder analysis here. Do not be confused with one and three, they are different. This is about you caring about only yourself and not the business. This one is the fact that you see it a different way. You don't see it the same way as the managers see it based on the evidence. Number four is low tolerance for change. So there is resistance to change because there is low tolerance for change. Now I've experienced this personally in my previous life in banking, where I would go in and build trading systems at banks and the departments, particularly operations departments, they were not happy with me. They hated the fact that I would go into their offices and try and come up with the best solution because they knew eventually they would have to learn this new technology. They hated it. So workers fear they do not have the skills to cope with the change and the fact that they're unwilling to train themselves up or they don't even believe that if they have to reskill that they will be able to reskill themselves. So I hope that helps with Cotter's resistance to change and I'll see you at the next sesh.